Yeah, Trina, look, something else I want to talk to you all about this morning. High-profile businessman Jeff Cousins has confirmed what millions of us already know. Without women, they're lost. Mm. Men are lost. <laughs> did you hear that, Carl? I did. I yeah. agree. Completely. <laughs> so he's quit Sydney's men-only Australian club, which counts John Howard and Malcolm Turnbull as members, after they voted against letting women in. Now, Sarah, I'm devastated. We're going to miss the opportunity to watch these old blokes get changed and jump in the sauna together. Yeah. You know, the sweet aroma of stale whiskey, yes. 1980s mm. cologne, oh, yes. and last night's curry. Oh. I want oh. in. Oh. Don't you want love, in? Ooh. I love that rap, Ali. Good okay. for you. I think that's beautifully said, but I, I think this is really disappointing. I cannot believe that the club has made this decision. Good on Jeff Cousins. He is at the front of my queue for nominations for Australian of the Year for 2022. You, you, you know, this is a, a conversation that rears its ugly mm. head from time to time and there is clearly a large proportion of the community that thinks that men have the right to exclude women. I just want to make the serious point that this is where a lot of power and influence is wielded. These are people in that mm. room, as Jeff Cousins made the point, that said that women shouldn't qualify to enter this exclusive institution. These are people that are making decisions in some of the highest mm -hmm. courts in the land and wielding a lot of influence in, in corporate boardrooms and shaping policy in this country. It's actually really concerning. Well, Jeff Cousins has taken a very strong stance here. He's leaving the club and putting pressure on people like this man, John Howard, Malcolm Turnbull. Why do you Turnbull? ladies get so yeah. fired up about being like be, wanting to be a member of this fuddy-duddy old man's club? I mean, have a, have a look at the shots of these guys coming out of the meeting yesterday. I mean, can I just say this to you, ladies? Can I just say this to you? That you're not going to have to wait long for there to be openings in that club. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, They're I, all 120 <laughs> years of age. As Ali says, they all stink. And they all think they have power and it's all gone. I mean, what would you want to be in that power? What would you want to be in that room? But do you not take the point, Carl, that whether Ali or I want to be part of that room, as Ali's already said, I mean, really, like, good luck to them. But, but can't you acknowledge the, the wider point that the, the, this is a problematic issue and it is a, a suggestion of the discrimination and the fact that women are still excluded from the powers of circle? I just don't want to be part of it. I don't want to be part of that club. I, 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 how I, you have the choice. You have the choice. If you have a women's club, you have the right to have a women's club. Sarah makes the point, though, that a lot of decisions, when you've got top, you've got judges, you've got top politicians in that room, a lot of big decisions are being made and you don't have women So, involved. so you have your own club. Like, I don't care. If, if a woman wants to have her own club, I also think there's a bunch of guys who aren't happy club. that women are probably in boardrooms now. Not really. This is my news chat. Continue. What else would you like to say? No. I've had enough. Can you storm off now? <laughs> Jono, would you like to they add anything? I don't have a voice these days. This is the Look, problem. No, that's right. All, 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 I, all I'd say on this is uh, how is it anything other than flat-out discrimination when you are ignoring potentially what is 50% of the population now? You cannot do that. The Soft, voices Jono. of female are incredibly powerful, Carl. Wake up and accept it, mate. It's no, happening. It's, well, right? you, you certainly it, woke it's, up it's, 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 not woke 19, it's not 1924 anymore, I don't Carl. want to go to the club. <laughs> uh, well, who wants to go to the go. club? If don't. you don't want to go, don't go. Mm. Who'd but want to go there? You've got to allow people the right to be there. Why is everyone so fired up about a fuddy daddy old Who's club? Who's fired up? You're fired One up. One person's fired up on this desk more than anyone just, else. Who cares? We're pretty calm. There are other things All to right. talk about. Wake like up and something. smell the roses, yeah. Carl. Yeah. You're you you might it. find if you were excluded from that that you would suddenly feel a lot care. more strongly about it. But do you have that go. right to be complacent, That's, Carl? All right, right guys. My, wife, right. my oh, wife goes to lunch every right. Friday with women. I don't want to go to lunch with her. Don't compare the two Men of them. Goodness go. sake. She does that to get away from you. Right. And Jeff Cousins is going to be coming in to the studio a little later. We're going to have a chat to him oh, about why he made this decision to leave. An important decision. Thank you, guys. Nice to chat to you this morning.